Omicron variant is the latest variant of concern of the uh, SARS-CoV-2 virus that causes COVID-19. Most important thing about this new variant of concern is it's still very early days. What we do know is that it has quite a few mutations and a number of those are in parts of the virus that our vaccine provides protection against. So one of the main concerns we have at this stage is that this one might be protected less by our current vaccines. But it's important to point out that's far from proven. So it's still very early days and we're taking appropriate measures to control it just in case. But for now, we need to wait for more information. So the Omicron variant of concern has quite a large number of mutations, over 30, with some in very important parts of the spike protein. Now the spike protein is the part of the virus that it uses to bind to our cells and the part of the virus that our vaccines target as well. So the concern is if that changes very significantly, we might have reduced protection from our vaccines, but we haven't shown that to be the case yet. It still looks to be that people are protected from severe disease at least by being vaccinated. And we're doing a lot of work right now to work out exactly how this variant of concern is different. There are lots of reports starting to emerge about how transmissible or how severe this variant might be. But the most important thing about that is it's very early days and those reports are, are very small in number and largely anecdotal. So we do need to get a lot more information about exactly how this virus behaves in the community, what these changes in the, in the structure, in the genome of this variant mean. So at the moment, those reports are that perhaps the disease is a little more on the mild side. That might be skewed because a lot of the cases are in younger people. So we really need to see exactly how it behaves. So the main reason this was labelled a variant of concern is its potential to evade the response that we get from our vaccines because of the relatively large number of changes in the spike protein. But we haven't yet demonstrated that it does evade our, our immune response from the vaccines yet. We're looking really carefully to see if it does. And even if it does, we can actually tweak our vaccines relatively quickly to, to adapt to that, to, to still combat this new variant if the worst case scenario is realised and it does evade our response from vaccines. Some early reports would suggest that we're still protected from severe disease by our current vaccines, but again, they still need to be verified. The most important thing people need to realise about any new variant of concern is that the basics, the simple measures that largely got us into the good position we're in now still work against any variant. And those things are social distancing, hand hygiene, masks in high risk situations, ventilation, checking in so we can find where cases have been and having really high rates of testing so we find each and every case in the community and can check what variant it is. So if we keep doing all those simple things well, we're going to still be able to be protected even from this variant or perhaps even future variants.